How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. Today we're talking about some really creepy photos. From the spirit of a hiker seen standing on a cliff face to a mysterious cult spotted surrounding a car. Join us as we take a look at 10 real eerie photos that have left authorities baffled. And before we get into it, remember to hit that subscribe button to see more creepy content just like this. Reddit user Sliced Up Beef posted this photo asking the community to clarify what exactly he captured on camera. The poster claims he was hiking around Dundas Peak, a scenic spot that overlooks Hamilton, Ontario in Canada. His cousin suggested he go check out the views and take a snap at a popular spot where the cliffs reach out over the ravine. When he reviewed his photos for the day, he couldn't quite fathom what he had captured. In the photo, there appears to be a person wearing a white top and dark pants standing eerily straight on a remote cliffside. The user noted that the area was extremely dangerous and inaccessible from all sides. He was simply baffled how a person could get out there. Comments on the Reddit thread noted that the area is known for some nasty accidents. They thought it was perhaps the spirit of someone who had tragically died there. It's alleged that hikers go missing at a rate of one per year around Dundas Peak. Although the photo has been shared thousands of times around social media, no one has been able to definitively explain the mysterious person in this photo. In 2015, tourist Chris Aitchison took this hair-raising photo at Tantalon Castle, Scotland. The mysterious figure was caught peering out of one of the upper windows of the castle. Many experts have speculated that it's a woman wearing Elizabethan period attire complete with collared ruff. Aitchison was so curious about what he had captured on film that he contacted the castle's management and asked if there were any reenactments that day. Castle staff informed him there was no such reenactment that day and in fact, they don't even feature costumed guides that fit the look of the person that was captured on film. Some scholars have suggested that it could be the spirit of King James V of Scotland who owned the castle in the 16th century. Some skeptics have noted, however, that it may be just a trick of the light. If you look at the angle of the light coming in the stairwell to the top left, it could be illuminating the rear stonework, giving the appearance of a face and clothes. Further still, that area of the castle is open to the public, so it could be simply another curious tourist wandering the premises. All things considered, this is still a strange photo for the ages. Despite the various possible explanations, a lot of experts are gobsmacked at what's been captured. Could Aitchison's camera have caught the ghost of an ancient resident going about their day as though they've not passed away? Or is it simply a case of pareidolia? This real photo was taken during a football match on October 3, 2013. The crowd at Dragon Stadium in Porto, Portugal went wild when James Rodriguez scored a huge goal for the local side. As photographers took rapid snaps of the Colombian celebrating his goal, they inadvertently captured something very unsettling. In the grandstand, among thousands of cheering fans, there appears to be a black skeletal figure wearing a white shirt. It has deep sunken eyes, a grey face and black hair. The lower half of the entity doesn't seem to exist. Just below Rodriguez's arm, there's a strange misty quality. Whatever the figure is, it seems to be just floating in mid-air. It's as though the boy to the left has no idea what's happening. Dozens of news outlets ran with the story and soon this creepy image was the talk of the internet. Theories ran from ghosts and spirits to a glitch on the camera, and one even suggested it was a glimpse into an alternate universe. What do you think this skeleton in the grandstand could be? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. Sticking with the world game, a strange photo surfaced in 2016 showing an eerie figure sitting on the sidelines of this Premier League match. Twitter user at TonyOdo1 posted this photo with the caption, Who's the ball boy with no face? Speculation ran rife as the mysterious photo spread around the internet. Viewers were shocked at the eerie faceless boy spotted live in clear sight during Monday Night Football. The chilling incident was captured when Johan Berg Goodmanson took a corner kick during the match. Spectators were stunned at what was being shown live on TV. 
The footage was shown in real time, making it impossible for the image to be tampered with in any way. Experts are stumped by the footage and can't explain what's been captured. This chilling image was submitted to Reddit by user 0A Russell. They said a friend of theirs was taking photos with their kid when one of the images showed a horrifying face in the background. Right in the middle of the curtain, there appears to be an old woman's face peering straight at the camera. It's grey and wrinkly and has a really unsettling quality to it. The face seems to split perfectly with the crack in the curtain, which could mean the face is actually printed on the fabric. But why on earth would anyone want curtains with an eerie old lady's face on them? The Reddit user said that the homeowner thought that an old lady had died in the house many years ago. Could this be her way of contacting the present owners? Or is it simply a print on the curtains? Love to hear your thoughts in the comments section below. Here's another mysterious real photo that was posted to Reddit. User Tony12684 said that his uncle took this photo many years ago while driving through New Mexico. In the distance, he noticed a wildfire and wanted to get some photos. He pulled over and began photographing the scene. At the time, there was nothing unusual of note except for the plumes of smoke in the background. Several weeks later, when he got the photos developed, he was shocked at what he saw. Right in the foreground is a mysterious lady in blue. The uncle insisted that no one else was around when he took the photos. The lady has sunken black eyes and a strange dark complexion. Her nose appears skeletal and her jaw looks gaunt and detached. There's a shadow quality to her features that makes this photo really eerie to look at. Her thin, outstretched arm ends in a stump with no fingers. The exact date this photo was taken is unknown, but it's obviously printed from film. It's possible then that this could be a malfunction which has blended two images together. Yet the unsettling features of the woman in blue remain. Who is she and why has she appeared in this photo? There's not a lot of information available for this photo. It was posted to a forum by someone with the handle Wookie Rage. They said they were walking through the woods one day with their brother taking photos. As they were walking, they noticed a tree with an interesting hollow in the trunk. They took a snap and continued on, thinking nothing of it. Later that night, the budding photographers got the fright of their lives when they examined one of their photos. If you look to the rear of the hollow, lurking in the shadows, there are two claw-like hands pressed on the ground. They're thin and sharp looking, but clearly look to be human. Could this be some kind of unknown humanoid creature hiding in the darkness? Or perhaps it's a homeless person that's taken refuge in the tree and doesn't want to be found. This sinister photo was allegedly taken in a rural area of Bulgaria in the late 70s. At that time, there was a mysterious cult known to operate in the area. There's not a lot of solid details about this photo, but there is one chilling story that follows the image all over the internet. The story goes that a young photographer and his daughter were driving through a remote part of Bulgaria when their car broke down. It was early evening and the area was all but dark except for a small light coming from a farmhouse in the distance. The father told his daughter to stay with the car while he walked to the distant cottage to get some help. Half an hour later, while walking back to the car, the father stopped dead in his tracks. In the distance, he could see a circle of people surrounding his car. They were all dressed in black robes and had hoods draped over their faces. They were holding their arms out wide as if presiding over the car and the young girl inside. The father quickly took this photo for evidence and began running as fast as he could to the car. No one knows exactly what happened after that moment. Some locals claim police found the car burnt out in the middle of a field, with no other evidence except for this photo found on a camera discovered in the woods nearby. This terrifying photo was sent to us by a viewer called Citrus Lemon. 
The story goes that when they were young, they were playing a modified game of hide and seek with their new camera phones. The rules were simple enough, find a spot to hide in a dark room and one person would take a photo with a flash then see if they could spot anyone hiding in the photo. They played several rounds and all was normal. People would hide, the flash would go off. Then one round, the person with the phone let out a horrible scream after they took the photo. Quickly the lights came on and everyone gathered around. The person who had taken the photo was noticeably shaken and had tears welling up in their eyes. When everyone looked at the phone, this was the image on the screen. Everyone stood around shocked at what they saw. In the photo, a thin boy can be seen crawling eerily through the doorway. He's in a bizarre upside down posture with his head tilted backwards. The most chilling part of all, there was absolutely no one playing the game that day that looks anything like the boy in the photo. Citrus Lemon said they don't like looking at the photo. It's the first time they've seen it in years and it still makes their stomach churn. To this day, they have no explanation for this image. Before we get to the number one spot and find out what's lurking in this old military bunker, remember to hit subscribe and turn on channel notifications. That way you'll be up to date with all our latest creepy content. Fort Warden in Washington State, United States has been a ghostly hotspot for paranormal investigators for years. Its rich military history has many ghastly tales dating back to the late 19th century. Built in 1889, the base began as a humble outpost for soldiers posted on Artillery Hill. It grew to become a significant anti-aircraft station with many cement bunkers built into the mountainside. Historians say that an officer accidentally killed himself while cleaning his pistol at Fort Warden. Now there are reports of an aggressive force that prowls the area, furious that he died from such a foolish accident. Paranormal investigators believe that if a person dies in an accident, there is a higher chance their spirit will linger in the area. Tourists have reported loud banging coming from the old cement bunkers, the rooms are often unusually cold and fits of nausea have been known to set in. This photo was taken when several boys decided to explore the old military installation. They were walking around taking photographs looking for anything interesting in the old bunkers. They claimed they were alone the whole time and didn't notice anything particularly unusual. However, when they reviewed their photos the next day, their blood ran cold. If you look at the top left hand corner of one of the images, there is a strange figure lurking on top of one of the cement rooms. Its face is red, almost burnt looking. It seems to be lying there in the darkness, hiding, or worse, waiting for the right time to attack the unsuspecting boys. Is this some kind of ghoul that lives deep in the network of this military installation? Note the strange orbs of light too. There is as many as six glowing balls of light hovering about the dark hallway. The strange thing is, there are a few before and after photos and there is no figure lurking in that spot. Could this then be a glimpse of the spirit of the angry officer who accidentally took his own life all those years ago? Fresh pandalonies please, I seem to have soiled myself. Well they were some super creepy photos, thank you so much for watching. If you're enjoying our content, hit that upward facing thumb, subscribe if you're new or leave us a comment down below, we love reading them. And that's it for me, I'll see you all next time.